Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you all for your commitment to this inaugural Conducted Energy Weapons Forum. It's been said before that with great power comes great responsibility, and nowhere is this truer in the modern world than when it is applied to the issue of police use of force, and particularly the use of CEWs. Jurisdictions around the world struggle to find the balance between providing their officers with the tools to ensure that they are able to safely perform their roles and ensuring that those tools are used professionally and appropriately. In June 2009, after a violent confrontation with police, including the use of a taser, a 39-year-old man, Antonio Galliano, died in police custody. While the circumstances of Mr Galliano's death are a matter for the State Coroner at this time, the Queensland Police Service and the Crime and Misconduct Commission undertook a joint review of TASER policy, training and monitoring and review practices and delivered 27 recommendations. This forum is a direct result of one of those recommendations which called for a continual reassessment of policy, procedures, training and monitoring of practices to implement and maintain best practice. We cannot undo the past, but we are determined to learn from it. Any death in custody presents special challenges for the families, the communities and the police. Recent events in other states simply highlight the scrutiny that is rightfully afforded to any incident involving a police use of force. I don't need to tell anyone here that CEW use is a particularly emotive issue in the community. Used professionally, they provide our officers with a dramatically improved degree of safety in dealing with the most violent and volatile of situations, something which sadly seems to be on the increase. The flip side of that is the challenge of providing our officers with the training, supervision and policy to empower them to use CEWs professionally and appropriately, and ideally preventing, but at the very least, identifying and addressing their misuse. For the QPS, the tragedy of Mr Galliano's death and the subsequent review was a catalyst for us to review and hopefully improve our practices and procedures. I am aware that all agencies have committed significant effort to developing their respective CEW programs. There has been significant national consultation and assistance provided to CEW programs to ensure continuous improvement, both formally at commissioner level and informally at peer level. The CEW programs of police agencies throughout Australasia are at various stages of development. Victoria and South Australia Police are in the infancy of a trial stage, whereas Western Australia Police have issued CEW since 2007 and have been subject to internal and external review. Regardless of the status of the implementation programs, I believe that this Australasian CEW forum will provide all of us with an opportunity to share information and learnings. You are the collective knowledge of CEW programs throughout Australasia. I encourage you to robustly discuss and problem solve the critical areas the forum has prioritised, including training, policy, monitoring and review practices, voluntary exposures, procurement and purchasing, accountability and community confidence. I look forward to the recommendations from the forum and would like to officially open the Conducted Energy Weapons Forum. Thank you very much.